This video is to help you properly place your child's violin on their shoulder so that they can avoid getting neck, shoulder, back and arm pain and fatigue. It's really important that the violin is placed properly on their shoulder um, and they have good posture so that they can, uh, once they develop more techniques and more advanced techniques, they're able to do so with a lot of facility. So, your child will be in rest position. So with your right hand, and in this video it will look backwards, with your right hand you take their violin, okay? Before you've done this, you're going to put their left arm across and their left hand will sit on their right shoulder, okay? So you're going to take their violin then, and you can play a game called, where does the violin go? Put on the, does the violin go here? And they'll tell you no. Does it go here? They'll tell you no. On their tummy, on their knees, on just the back of their shoulder. They really enjoy that game. And so then you'll say, does it go here? And you can just tap their shoulder and they'll say yes. And so with their arm across to set the shoulder up with a nice shape, you then put the violin on an upward angle like this. The, well, the scroll is pointing down, the bottom of the violin pointing up. And you just bring it onto their shoulder like so. Okay, their head will probably be straight ahead and you just have to tip it so that their jaw is in the chin rest and their chin is sitting just in front of the chin rest, just over the tailpiece. Okay, that will be the most comfortable position for their head. Now, their hand is like this, so I'm not sure if you can see, but my shoulder rest is flat along my shoulder down just above my sternum, or just over my sternum. So, this is how the violin should look. Okay, now, what we don't want to see is the violin straight in front of them. This will pull their shoulder muscles and stretch them in a way that they shouldn't be stretched. So if you've put the violin like this, so that their chin is in the chin rest this way, that is going to cause them issues. So, oops, fell off. So if the violin is like this, that is not going to set up good posture. So again, we want it like this so that our arm is nice and open. Okay? Now, if it's like this, also going to cause lots of problems. So let's do that one more time the correct way. So you're going to have your child in rest position with their violin. With your right arm or hand, you're going to take their violin. With your left hand, you can bring their left hand to sit on their right shoulder across their chest. And with your right hand, you'll take the violin and you can play the game where does the violin go if you like. And then in the end, you want the violin with the scroll pointing to the floor, the button up to the ceiling, and you want to just let it sit on their shoulder. If their head is straight ahead, then you just tip it over so that the jaw sits in the chin rest, and the chin sits just in front of it. So there we go, okay? So the chin rest is here. I've got about that much space between my chin and the start of the chin rest, okay? And there we go, and they should be able to hold that for ages and ages and ages. You can count to 20, you can count to 30, you can try and get up to a minute. It's all very good, and happy practicing.